Good morning, Stansbury Tigers. Time to review our school-wide behavior expectations. Our Tiger Pledge. I pledge to be respectful, responsible, and safe in all areas of school. Tiger pride is hard to hide. Every student can shine at Stansbury. Follow these expectations to be your best. Tiger expectation number one, respectful. We make school a better place when we use kind words, be nice to people, and take care of property. Tiger expectation number two, responsible. Tigers behave for success by doing what we are expected to do and taking accountability for our actions. Tiger expectation number three, be safe. Because we care about each other, we keep ourselves and others safe from harm. December's tiger trait is inclusive. Being welcoming and kind to all people and creating a community where everyone belongs. Today's episode, we're going to be talking about including. What's an includer? Someone who welcomes you, who thinks of others, and who is fun. I started thinking about this when I started French school. And I didn't even speak French. Yikes. Will I be included? Will I be left out? Thankfully, I was included. I felt welcome at my new school. One day, the teacher even said in front of the whole class, Bravo, Kaya. Tu parles bien en français. That made me feel good. My little sister started at French daycare. And guess what? She got invited to a birthday party right away. She was included. Wow, tow, tow. But there was a day when I didn't feel so included. One day, I asked two girls if I could join them in their game. And they said, we already have enough people. Finally, one said, Okay, I guess you can play in a not-so-happy voice. I did play, but I still felt left out. It made me sad. So I talked about it with my mom on the drive home. So what did I learn from this? If someone asks to play with you, say, Sure, there's always room for one more, even if people don't speak the same language as you. Send them some love and be kind. We're also different anyway. If someone's by themselves, talk to them in case they need a friend. And be an includer. Have a loving day. Now, pause the video and discuss as a class, what does it mean to be inclusive? Hi, I'm Mila. And we are here to tell you about the word include. Include. Now, the word include means to let someone into a group. And right now, we'd like to show you include. Include. But we can't. You see, these two sheep are dancing, but they aren't letting Elmo dance with them. No. Elmo's not included. No. And, and, and tell me, Elmo, how does it feel to not be included? Well, Miss Mila, it does not feel good. No. It doesn't feel good at all. I didn't think so. In fact, Elmo feels kind of sad <sighs> that he's not included. Wait! Stop the music! What? What's, what's going on? Well, we don't want Elmo to feel sad. You don't? No. In fact, we want Elmo to be happy. <laughs> you do? Mm. Yeah, that's why we want him to join us. Yeah. So you want to include... Elmo? Yes! yes. Come, Come join, join us, us Elmo. Elmo! Oh boy, Elmo's included! <laughs> Elmo's included! <Music. laughs> okay. Well, there you have it. The word include means to let someone in the group, <laughs> and the sheep just included Elmo. <laughs> Stop the, the music. music! Stop the music! What, what's, what's going on now, guys? We, we want, want to, to include someone, someone else! else. Mm. Who? You! you. <gasps> Me? 
<laughs> Music! Discuss as a class these questions. If you notice someone is feeling left out, what can you do? If you're feeling left out, what can you do to be included? Your teacher is going to pass out a worksheet that looks like this. We want you to think about what it looks like when you include someone and what you can say to them to make sure that they feel included. Thanks so much for being so amazing at including others. We love you, tigers. So doggone much. Have a great day.